Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back with some frequently asked questions. So, you guys leave me questions all the time in my comments on Instagram and here on YouTube. So I thought that I'd answer the ones that I get most frequently. So, let's get right into it. How many locks do you have? Well, when I first started off my locks back in 2010, I had about 120 locks. Since then, I've combined some along my edges, especially because I noticed that the lady who started my locks, she kept the parts consistent pretty much around my entire head, not really considering the fact that the hairs on my edges are a lot finer and thinner. So those locks I combined so that they would be stronger. So now I have about 94 locks altogether, 94. What color is your hair? I'll say the most recent color that I used was Cream of Nature Vivid Red. I'll insert the video above so you can see um, that hair color review. But I've used a ton of colors in my day. Using all of those colors in the past play a part in the color that my hair is today. How long have you had your locks? Well, I started my locks in May 2010 and currently it's February 2017 so I've had my locks for about six years and three quarters so my seven year lock anniversary is creeping up on me and that'll be May 15th 2017 do you retwist or interlock your locks and I personally retwist I have interlocked before however I just prefer to retwist because it leaves my hair looking thicker and um I get to maintain it more often that way. But at the moment right now, I'm not twisting at all. And I normally retwist every two weeks. So that's another question I get asked often. How often do you retwist? That's, yeah, every two weeks. Typically in the past, I would retwist. But currently, team don't retwist. How often do you wash your locks? I wash my hair every two weeks. So even before I had locks, when I had a perm, I wash my hair every two weeks. Do you use conditioner? Yes, I do use conditioner. However, I don't use conditioner every single wash because I am cautious of product buildup. But I do use conditioner maybe every other wash. Maybe every two washes, so something like that. But um, I personally like to use conditioner because my hair is color treated. And I find that using conditioner is really beneficial for me with my color treated hair. A lot of lock wearers, even like locticians, would say to not use conditioner. I mean, some will tell you to use conditioner and some will be like, no, don't ever use conditioner. There are no explicit rules when it comes to maintaining locks, so you need to just find out what works for you. And using conditioner works for me. I don't have any issues with buildup. If, you, if you're, you know, fearful of buildup or if you struggle with buildup, your washing routine is gonna be a big deal. So consider how often you wash your locks and what you're using to wash your locks. How do you sleep in rollers? Um, <laughs> I guess I just use soft pillows. How do you maintain your curls? So I have a few videos on my curls, so I'll link them above. But um, in short, if I have a curl set in and I don't want them to drop, maybe I'm going out tonight, but my, my curls, I let them out the rollers in the morning. Maybe I'll put them in a hairnet to help keep them in place. If I'm going to sleep, I'll sleep in something loose. I won't use a scarf because the scarf will flatten my curls. So I'll probably use a bonnet or a dread sock. Or I would just leave. use a hairnet. Maybe I'll just put it in a, like a, a ponytail holder or something very loose. So that, you know, my curls aren't being distorted. Um, and maybe I'll just put a scarf on my edges alone. I'll do one of those things. How do you dye your hair so often? So for those of you who don't know, I probably dye my hair a couple times a year. Earlier on in my journey, I've dyed them more frequently than that. But at this point in my journey, I don't dye them more frequently than a couple times a year. And that is because um, I, I maintain my hair very well in between dyes. So if you want a video on how I maintain my dyed locks, definitely leave a comment below. Why do you have twists in your locks? My twists, if you, you may notice if you look on my Instagram especially, but I have twists along like my edges, like around my hairline. And that's because those locks were combined. They were thinner locks, so I combined them with a neighboring thin lock. 
and combine them into one decent sized lock and I hold them together or I, in the past I've held them together with a, with a gold clip. I have sewn them together before. I didn't really like that. Um, I didn't find it as effective as the clip so yeah that's why I have some random twists. They're combined locks. And last but not least will you ever cut your locks? I do see myself cutting my locks eventually. I'm 25 years old. Um, I've had my locks since I was 19. I never really experienced an afro because I had, um, at least, you know, I don't remember, you know, I had my hair permed since I was in the fourth grade and then I started growing out my perm immediately after prom. So while I was transitioning, I had my hair in braids and I didn't really get to experience my afro because as soon as I took my, my last set of braids out, I got my locks installed. So I would like to be able to experience my afro, my loose natural hair. So I do see myself cutting my locks eventually. I mean, I want to be sure to hit my goal length, which is tailbone length. And um, at this point, I'm at waist length. Like some of them are still like um, mid back length, but I do have a, maybe like 50% are at waist length and the other 50% are, are at mid back length. Um, my locks go like this. So like they're not all the same length. So I predict that in about two to three years, I'll be at my goal length. So when I hit 10 years, that'd be awesome. That'd be a nice time to, to cut my locks. But um, I'm a lock girl. So even if or even when I do have my afro, I'm, I definitely intend on restarting a new lock journey. Or I should say starting a new lock journey. So... I'm a lock girl, so locks, is, locks are my thing, so I definitely just want to be able to run my hands through my afro and just enjoy the loose naturalness, maybe do some cool styles with my loose hair, but then I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i probably just lock it back. Maybe I'll do them thicker, maybe I'll do them thinner, maybe I'll do freeform, who knows, I'll see where my head is at in three years and I'll, I'll see. I won't cut them all off, like I don't really want to have like a TWA, a teeny mini afro or anything like that, I may, just for, maybe I just, just to record, I'll probably comb them out like from the ends, that may take a long time, so I may cut them at a certain length and then comb them out, we'll see, just stay tuned, okay, make sure you're subscribed so you're, you, you can tune in when that happens in a couple years, so, I hope these questions answered a lot of the questions that you had. Please stay tuned. My book is coming out very, very soon. It's called More Than a Hair Journey, The Black Woman's Guide to Self-Love and Lock Maintenance. In the book, I discuss how my natural hair journey has helped me along my self-love journey. It also has a pretty useful guide on how to navigate your lock journey. So it's, it's definitely, definitely a book you want to keep. Leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching. Thumbs this video up if you liked it. Share it. Tell a friend. Again, if you're not subscribed, subscribe now. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram at KillaDoesThat. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.